Sam Mayer needs to make two more laps. Mistake-free, problem-free. As we circulate down the back stretch here at the bull ring. Sam Mayer will be looking at the white flag. Three-eighths of a mile to go. For the defending Arkham and Art Series East champion, Sam Mayer. Working his way cleanly through turns one and two and down the back stretch. Into turns three and four for the final time. Checkered flag in the air. Sam Mayer will go to victory lane here in the Arkham and Art Series West season opener. Off of turn number 15. There you see the white flag in the air. One more lap to go for Jesse Love. There you see the battle for that second position. Chris Wright looking to the inside. He's going to shove Taylor Gray to the outside. Give second to Chris Wright as they work their way off of one and into turn two. Chris Wright now going to try to reel in Jesse Love at the front of the field. Does he have enough time? Does he have enough race car to close the gap on Jesse Love? They're working their way into turns five and six. Taylor Gray trying to come back and make a run at that second position. There you see Jesse Love just to the left side of the screen there. Leader with five car lengths in hand over Chris Wright. Back in the second position. Working their way through turns seven and eight. About half a lap to go here at Utah Motorsports Campus. Chris Wright thrashing that automobile off of turn number eight and on their way into turns nine and ten. Will Rogers kicking up a cloud of dust as he works his way through turns 10 and 11. There's the battle for third. Gio Selzy trying to work his way past. Taylor Gray, dri Gray drifting sideways off of turn 12. Gio Selzy to the inside as they work their way into turns 13 and 14. Give the third spot to Gio Selzy as we work our way through the final set of corners. Coming to the checkered flag. Taylor Gray lighting up the brakes. Lots of action here on the final lap at Utah Motorsports Campus. Here comes Jesse Love off of turn 15. Looking at the checkered flag, Jesse Love will pick up the win in race number one of the Eos Sunrise Sports win. There you see Blaine Perkins working his way off the of turn number 15. He is looking at the white flag. We are on the final lap here at Utah Motorsports Campus. Blaine Perkins now off in turn number one. We're going to follow him around all the way here on this last lap. Make sure he keeps all four of those general tires between the white lines. Making his way through turn number three. Off in turns four, five, and six. Lane Perkins doing everything right here in round number two at the Utah Motorsports Campus. Now making his way into turn six. Going to come down into the aptly named Agony and Ecstasy. That has been the definition of Blaine's day here this afternoon. It was agony at the end of round number one. It's going to be ecstasy here at the end of round number two. He is half a lap away from picking up career win number one here in the Arkham and Art Series West. Best finish to this point has been third earlier this season at the Bullring of Las Vegas Motors Speedway. In both races here at Utah Motorsports Campus back in 2016. This is his 32nd career start here in the Arkham and Art Series West. He is just a couple of corners away. Working his way in to turns 13, 14, and 15. Now making his way into the final corner onto the home stretch. Lane Perkins looking at the checkered flag. He will pick up the win here in round number two of the EDO Sunrise Ford Twins. There you see Jesse Love. He's got five car lengths in hand over Trevor Huddleston in second. Huddleston again trying to make the bottom side of the racetrack work. He's going to throw everything, including the kitchen sink, at Jesse Love. As we come off a of turn four to look at the white flag this time around. Last lap here at Irwindale Speedway. Jesse Love off into turns one and two. He's got five car lengths as he works his way down the back stretch. Looking to pick up win number two here to open the 2020 Arkham and Art Series West season. Jesse Love off at turn number four. He will pick up the win in the Edios 125. Well, Blaine Perkins here at Evergreen Speedway. Looking to pick 
pick up his second win of 2020. He will be looking at the white flag this time around. One more lap to go. For Blaine Perkins in that Sunrise Ford number nine. The white flag from the flag stand. No pressure from behind. No traffic out the front windshield either. All he's got to do, make one more lap around, and Blaine Perkins will be celebrating career win number two. Leading green off of turn number two down the back stretch into turns three and four. Checkered flag waving at the stripe this time around. Give the win here at Evergreen Speedway to Blaine Perkins as he picks up career win number two. Blaine Perkins as he looks for win number three here in the Arkham and Art Series West. Working to the outside of Takuma Koga down the back stretch. White flag at the stripe. This time by a one lap to go for Blaine Perkins. He's got a five, make it a 10 car length advantage over Gracie Trotter in second. Trotter with 10 car lengths on Jesse Love in third. Blaine Perkins working his way through turns three and four. Looking at the checkered flag this time by Blaine Perkins picking up the win at Douglas County Speedway. Mean flag back in the air. We are racing for a two lap dash to the checkered. Perkins diving to the inside of the racetrack. Gonna lay the bumper to Jesse Love who turns one and two. Can't make it happen. Love darts out to the lead. Coming to the white flag this time around. Jesse Love with the four car length lead, making a six car length lead. White flag in the air. Final lap here at Colorado National. Love with the advantage over Blaine Perkins. Side by side battle for third. Geo Selzy, Gracie Trotter making their way through turns three and four. Last lap effort by Blaine Perkins not gonna make it happen Jesse Love picking up the win here at Colorado National it had been 29 years for a female driver going to victory lane in a national stock car touring event Haley Deegan broke that streak two years ago at Meridian Speedway she picked up a total of three career victories now, here comes Gracie Trotter looking to make history of her own as she works her way off at turn four. Checkered flag out. Gracie Trotter picks up the win at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Taylor Gray going to hold on to the lead by a car length here at the stripe. Can Selzy make the crossover move and get to the bottom side of the racetrack? Coming to the white flag this time around. Taylor Gray sideways. He's going to open the door for Gio Selzy. They make contact. White flag in the air. Selzy to the lead. Taylor Gray going to go around. Crazy action down into turn one. Selzy with the lead. Green flag still out. Coming to the checkered flag. Geo Selzy going to pick up the victory. Trevor Huddleston trying to work the back bumper of his teammate. Lane Perkins into turns three and four. There we see leader Taylor Gray looking at the white flag. One more lap to go here at Kern County Raceway. Ten car lengths in hand over Mason Diaz in second. Gray cleanly off at of turn two down the back stretch. Working his way off into turns three and four for the final time here this afternoon. Looking at the checkered flag, Taylor Gray going to go to victory lane here at Kern County Raceway. He's going to have one more shot. Ty Gibbs working his way off into turns three and four. He'll be looking at the white flag this time around. Here comes Gilliland to the inside. Side by side off of four, white flags up. One lap to go to get settle it here in Phoenix. Some contact as they make their way through the dog leg. Gilliland now with the lead into turn one. Gibbs down to the bottom side of the racetrack. David Gilliland with the lead down the backstretch. What's Ty Gibbs going to do here in three and 